Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and I am hanging out with Radical Reggie. How's it going, dude? It's going good, man. So tell people why you're here. We are here to talk about rare and expensive PS1 games. Uh, uh, as you guys know, I'm pretty much like a, like a big Sony fan, and uh, PlayStation is just where it's at for me. So I want to tell you guys about some of the rare, expensive games that are out there. You know, a lot of pe a lot of people might not even know about these games. Yeah, it, the reason why you're here too is that you have an epic collection. The first time I was there, it <laughs> blew my mind. I was pulling this game off here, going, "You have the, what? This game here? This game? It was I know, amazing." And I was lucky enough to, to get the games like around the time that they came out. You know, right. and they're not like like triple, double the price they are now. So. Uh, are you ready to do this, man? I am. Let's do it. All right, guys. So before we start, I do want to emphasize that this is not necessarily a hidden gems video. Right, right. We're not saying that these games are great or that you should play them, although some of them certainly are really mm -hmm. good. But we just want to be clear that this is rare and stupidly expensive games. And when we say rare and expensive, you know, a lot of, a lot of prints might not have been made of these games. Right, you know, right. Sales might have been bad and, you know, they might have just had one print run or something like that. So, yeah, that's that's, that's basically what we're trying to tell you guys. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we can go ahead and start Let's with the first game, Let's do it, man. I know. All right. Uh, a lot of you probably know that I was going to start off with this game first, but uh, Sakodan 2. Uh, Sakodan 2, though a great game, sold poorly. So uh, People are always looking for this game. Yeah, people it, love it. it. It's insane because it's one of those games that uses kind of like what I'll call the zap system where you play the first game, you can use that uh, data and transfer it over to this game. Oh, well. So that, it's pretty cool. But this is definitely, yeah, I would consider this the best game in the, in the, in the series story-wise as well. I mean, yeah. So hmm. Coden 2. Uh, difficult to find, uh, not a lot, a lot made, and just, yeah, expensive. And too. highly sought after. Yeah, yeah. definitely. All right, uh, next game here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to kind of cheat here. And uh, two games, Tales of Destiny uh, 1 and 2. And you know what's weird? Tales of Destiny 2 has always been expensive hmm. and rare. But the first game just somewhat went up in price recently. So oh, really? Yeah, people are after this one. So yeah, this one is really rare as well. I mean, they're pretty much uh, equal each other out. Uh, a, a Namco RPG. Yeah, I know, right? I know. Uh, the, the, they got that series. They got their flagship title. The well, not title, but the the series, series right? Of, of Tales. Which you love. You love the series. Yeah, it's it's, it's one. It's definitely. I have to say, it's my top, dude. I love the Tales game. Yeah, <laughs> they keep everything original and uh, original to me. And and you know, some people maybe get tired of that, but that's that's fine with me you know I'm, I'm used to it so there's something to be said for that because you could argue final fantasy has gone in too many weird directions that, oh, that long-term fans like us were mm -hmm. kind of like no nah, i don't even know i think stick to the classics right i think i was talking to kenzie about it you know final fantasy 9 was probably the last great one that we could right. really yeah, yeah definitely uh but yeah the tell series uh it's very tough to find well you know well what was, I gonna, what was the word I was gonna looking for? Uh, expensive sometimes. Expensive. Yeah. And yeah. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the next game is uh, Burgundy. I think they have Brig like, Brigadine. Brigadine. I, oh, I don't know. <laughs> See, they're, they're gonna get me on that. Sorry, guys. Brigadine. Uh, this is a strategy RPG. Uh, Atlas. Of course, you see the Atlas on there. Uh, I haven't really. I got. I actually got this maybe about six months ago, and I haven't really played it that much. It's. It's. I. It's not really. To me, it's not that fun. You mm -hmm. know, it's like yeah. But mm -hmm. you know. I got it for the cheap, luckily, and uh... Well, you are a big collector, obviously, and so when you run into these games that you, yeah, know, I, you, you don't have... and it, yeah. yeah, I definitely had to pick it up. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a game you don't really see too much of. Uh, you know, it's expensive and very rare. So, uh, hmm. Burgundy, if you like strategy RPGs, uh, pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> or not. <laughs> or not. <laughs> it's up to you. Uh, next game here, Tail... Concerto. Oh, I think I said it right. Tail yes. Concerto. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That sounds right. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> By uh, Atlas. Uh, the game did not sell well. This came out back in, I think, uh, 1999, 2000. Did not sell well at all. Hmm. And, uh, and you know, with that, the game came rare and expensive. Uh, it's a, it's basically a, a 3D platform game, kind of like a, in the way of Mario 64. Oh, okay. But you're riding like a like a 
a little a, like a little robot to kind of get around. You're a police officer. Okay. Uh, and to let you guys know this too, a solo solo robo. Yeah, you told me this that on the DS. That, yeah, it's that actually you... the spiritual sequel to this game. So you'll see characters in that game from this game. So, hmm. but the game... another really rare and expensive game. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but uh, I think it's a good game. But it's like I said, it's gone up in price. Hmm. It's very rare. It's and, and expensive. So just. Be on the lookout for it. Yeah. If, if you can find it for a good deal, go for it. This is one I did not expect. I did not expect it either. And now I see why Casey was trying to get it from me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, R-Type Delta. Huh. Uh, An R-Type game that is rare and expensive. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, this is I, this is actually one of my favorite ones, uh, aside from R-Type 3. Okay. Um, I had no I had no idea this has gone up in price. I got this for a, a regular price. Or I think it was wrong. I think I got it for around twenty thirty dollars, and wow. now it's just shot up in price like it's insane. So well, they're saying that this has uh, all new three D graphics, so mm -hmm. it's not two D like the original, or at least yeah, the they definitely went try to go in another direction with this okay. game. But it still plays like a good shoot 'em up. I, I don't know if a lot of people like the direction they went in with this one, but huh. you know, they they continue with it in other games. So wow, okay, so that was the first three D one definitely. But yeah, our type Delta, uh, a somewhat tough shoot 'em up. Uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm pretty good at it, you know, but... The art type games I'm not great at. I'm not great well, at the horizontal ones. Well, I'm much better at the vertical. Well, I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, the thing about art type games is they, they start... You get killed and they start you back at a checkpoint. That, yes. takes, a, that yeah. takes a lot of, like, yeah. energy out of it. Like, man, forget it. You know, I just want to start at the same <laughs> spot, keep going forward. But <laughs> are, are, do, you, do you prefer the horizontal shooters or the vertical? Both. Okay. I, I started to like both of them. You okay. know, uh, I think vertical mostly, but horizontal I accept too. So. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next game here. Which you've mentioned this one before. Yes, if you like Mega Man Legends, uh, The Misadventures of Tron Bond. Now, I was. this is the first game back in the day. When I bought, I bought it when it first came out, I knew this game was going to be rare, but this is before the video game hype and right. like everything. You know? huh. uh, it just it just was one of those games that you, just, you weren't going to see a lot of, and, and I was right, you know? Um, Don't you think it has something to do maybe with the title? That's a weird title for a Mega Man Legends game. It is. It is. It is. It, it's, it's focused, it was trying to focus on a character that was popular in Japan, but wasn't really popular in America. Okay. So uh, it was kind of strange. So a lot of people just like, what is this? And just didn't yeah. pay any attention to it. So Even though it, it definitely says it right there on the front, but yeah. you have to kind of pay attention, right? <laughs> well, they tried to throw a Mega Man Legends 2 demo in here to kind of like show it off as part of that series. But, is that a separate disc? or is It's it, a separate disc. And, oh, okay. Uh, but you know, people, they want to, if it says, it has to say the name on there in yeah. big letters before they recognize it. So unfortunately, a uh, tough game, ex well, expensive game to get. Um, I would say, uh, uh, it is, I like the game. It's a good game. So it's definitely, if you buy it, you'll, I think you'll like it. But depending on your price range for it, you know, I don't oh, know yeah. if you'll have buyers for more. So just well, be aware. I have this game, but I have it digitally. And that's fine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, okay. the, you know, I mean, I, I just, I just mentioned that because, yeah, if you want to check out a lot okay. of these games, it's like, you know, I paid, I think, six dollars for this through the PlayStation Store. And you, and you played, you played it fairly a, a good amount of it. No. <laughs> I was gonna say because then you'll know because it's one of those sales. You know what I mean that they'll they'll do, and so like, yeah, yeah, and it's like, oh, actually, I think they they first put it on the store, and I was like, ooh, this is a game that I can never possibly afford. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna download. I just haven't had time. That's right, right. But again, my point is that. Yes, you could get the physical version, which mm -hmm. I always, uh, you know, I always love the physical version. But you want to see what the hype is about, and at that price, you can say, "Hey, is this you know, worth the price yeah. is going for?" So yes. yeah, definitely. All right, now, well, maybe I should save these for last, but uh, we'll go to the next one here: uh, Psychic Detective. Now, uh, when you showed this, I was like, first of all, the box is heavy. It uh, is. It has like three discs in here, so it's like one of those FMV type games. You know, uh, FMV took up, yeah. a lot of, it took up a lot of space on CD, yeah. so this game is full of it. Uh, I'm not good at it. Uh, you know, it, it's really, it's kind of, the story's all over the place, but uh, definitely if you can follow this game, you, you're, you're a smart person. Uh, <laughs> But definitely a game that you don't do not see a lot of. It did not sell well, at least on the PlayStation system, and uh, it's it's going for a high price now. It's uh, hmm. it's got a lot of like a, like a good actors in it. Like before they were well known, okay. I can't remember their names right now. But yeah, sure. but, but still, it's it's well. I think a lot of these full motion video games are kind of coming back because a lot of people like you and I. Uh, we're looking back and it's like, you know, they don't make these anymore. Yeah. And so when you want to kind of have these cheesy experiences, 
these are some of the funnest games to play now. Right, I mean, right. You know, yes, they can be hard and frustrating, and often the acting's horrible, but that's part <laughs> of the fun, right? It is. It makes it campy. It's just, it's just hilarious. Yeah. I mean, this, if you want to feel nostalgic, you know, pick up a play an FMV game. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, next game here. Talked about this before on the channel. Starblade Alpha. Uh, this is a game I want. Yeah, this game it's a rail shooter. It's it's really cool. I mean, uh, I, I I used to see these games in art, these type of games in arcade a yeah. lot. But like somebody else was always playing them, so I never got, I could only watch from the side. But yeah, this is my first type of game like this, and this is it's it's really cool. But um, like it's unfortunately it's just it didn't sell very well, and it's just oh gosh, I mean it's so poorly, and there's just not that many out there. So uh, so let me ask you this: is that the last two that you just showed here are in the long boxes? So, yeah. So does that sometimes affect the price? Like like what like I'm, I guess what I'm getting at is like for instance, was this particular game ever released in like, no. a, a CD case? Nope. Okay, but some were. Some were, but okay. uh, not that one. Okay. I'm pretty sure Psychic Detective wasn't either, so that's why, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting that they switched formats so drastically, isn't it? I know, right? Huh. <laughs> cool. But, cool game. Uh, all right, where was I? Uh, here we go. Uh, now we're down to the other games I was talking about. A uh, shoot, uh, shoot em up, shoot em up. Yeah. Harmful Park. Oh, gosh. This is the game you always want me to show when yeah, I was yeah. at my house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Harmful Park. Uh, Oh gosh, I, I don't know if it, whether it was just made in limited quantities or just didn't sell well, but this game goes for a high price. I mean, mm. it's like it's very sought after, and it's actually a really good game. I mean, if you like shoot 'em ups, you'll definitely you could definitely get into this game. Now, this is not a North American release. No, this is an import release. I okay, got, you know, it, with a test PS2 system, I can play all these games. Okay, now. so <laughs> so that, that's important to know though. So you're you're right. you're moving a little bit here from North American releases to yeah. I wanted imports. to kind of make it a worldwide thing with the with sure. the, the, the games because okay. you know we stick to. A, like just America just limits us. You yeah, know? absolutely. Some of these games that didn't come out like this that we want, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But Harmful Park, definitely another one that's like, whoa. A weird cover too. Again, you would never know that's a shooter. Yeah, it makes, it makes you like... like <laughs> it, it's a picnic. Get, it's, yeah, yeah, get something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next game here. I talked about this on the channel before too. Gaia Seed. Now, this is probably my favorite shooter of all time. I mean, gosh, I mean... <laughs> I mean it, it, oh. It, it was it was really rare in in Japan, and I don't know why it was. It was just the company just probably didn't. They just I don't know. They were just a small company, so uh, the game was extremely rare even in Japan. And this was back in the day when it first came out. It was yeah. rare. So um, it's a really outstanding shooter. I mean, the story is really cool in it. It's just man, it's just really like I don't know. It just makes you like want to watch Sci-Fi Channel. It's really awesome. And I, I think if, if I'm not mistaken, this is another game that I've actually bought through the the PlayStation Store. Oh, that's right. It's on there too. Yeah. That's right. And so I think I played on my Vita if I remember right. So yeah, that's really cool. Very cool game. Uh, limited and sought after. Hmm. All right. So we're winding it down. This next one I know you searched for a long time for. Yeah. And actually, with this next one, the funny story is uh. I, I got a little money from my tax return, and you know I was doing well in school, so I said, "Man, it's time to treat myself." Cause I always saving my money, and I said, "You know, it's time to splurge." And yeah, <laughs> I, you know, I did good, so I got the mentions of Little Ralph. Now I freaking uh, like I, I lost out on so many bids for this game, and I finally just won one. Thankfully, there was no snipers out there. Uh, but this game was made by a company called New, hmm. and uh, I, th I believe they only have two games under their record. Record and. Uh, they just kind of fell off after this game, but this game is amazing. If it came to America, it would have been like, I think it would have did really well. But this is definitely one of my favorite platforms of all time. It's hmm. just, this game is insane, man. I mean, yeah, it, it sucks that no one knows about it because I it's know. so rare and limited, man. Like you just, they're like, what is that? So I also think too, again, I hate to go back to the titles, but you know, the adventures of Little Ralph sounds like a kids game. Maybe? Yeah, I think you know they have I mean? a movie so similar to that, or no, it's called King Ralph over here. I can't remember. Oh okay. yeah, <laughs> but but, some, but sometimes again, you know, just coming from a background of, of software development, sometimes titles and covers it, it are make, so yeah. exp or so it makes a difference. They, they make a difference. I mean, it's, you know, whether people just glance at it and buy it or not. So <laughs> you never know with that. Cool. All right, next last game here. Uh, cool, John. Uh, I'm, yeah, I, I'm sorry. We, we were doing some research before this video, and he asked me what I, how I thought it was pronounced. I yeah. have no idea. <laughs> well, I, I remember I used to pronounce it properly, like when I first got it, but uh, I just, I forgot it. So I'm sorry, guys. But anyways, uh, this game is a cute em up. Came out for PS1 in Japan. You love your cute em ups. This game is awesome, dude. I know it's. It, yeah. I was like, whoa, like this. I usually don't really care for them unless they're like harmful part. But this one was like really good too, man. Huh. It even has a cool intro theme song that's really awesome. Uh, 
this game is very hard to find in Japan and it's hard to like even really? type it, look it up on eBay, you know, because it's not really written in right. I so see. You, you usually come by uh, upon this game by luck, you know. Really? Yeah, seriously. So. Wow. God, there's so many PlayStation 1 games that, I mean, mm -hmm. it's... It, it's just an amazing system. I mean, there's just it a little bit everything for it. Yeah, and even me as an avid PlayStation collector, I'm still finding stuff like, whoa, what is this? I didn't know this existed. So, it's, God, it's just an amazing system and an amazing system to collect for. I mean, hmm. happy to have these games in the in the inventory. I wouldn't want to really be looking for them now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's part of the reason why we're doing this video series is to kind of let people know that when you're out and about and you see something either at an expo or mm -hmm. if you get really lucky, it yeah. happens occasionally at like, you know, a pawn shop or like a Craigslist, mm -hmm. you may run into some of this stuff yeah. and, and be like, oh, you should probably snag it. You know? yeah, yeah, immediately. <laughs> you know, uh, not all these type of, not all these games are great, but you know, it really depends on what you think of them, you know. Uh, well, and some people are going for complete collections and that, we've mentioned that in the, in the past on this channel right. before, that those type of collectors sometimes do drive up the prices of these games because if if you want them all, those really hard to find ones, yeah. whether good or bad, you're going to pay the price for, you know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty crazy. John Hancock knows well. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, dude. So where can people find you on the internet? Hey, Radical Reggie on YouTube. I'm actually actually going to start a Patreon and all that. So I'm, I'm, I'm taking it seriously now. So if, if you like my content, you know, come check me well, out. And, and, and uh, to tell on you a little bit, you have like 30 videos ready to go for your yeah, channel. Yeah, I took precaution because I knew I was going to take this seriously. I uploaded 30 videos just to get the ball rolling. You know, I haven't up, like displayed them yet, but they're on the channel after yeah. the Patreon launches. And I'm just going to cool. start releasing them. So. Uh, it was tough because I did them all on, on the cell phone. So it was hilarious. So. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do on a cell phone, though. It is. It really is, man. Huh, so. That's cool. All right, guys. Love to know what you thought about this video. Uh, please let us know down in the comments. Yeah, and if, if, if you like this video, maybe we'll do a part two. Yeah, he's got a lot of them, and he's got other systems as well. We can keep well. going for a while. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and take care. Another system that Reggie and I could do this type of video for would be the Sony PSP, the PlayStation Portable. Not a lot of people know that there are a lot of collectible games on there, and between he and I, we pretty much have most of them. Another system that would be kind of interesting would be the PlayStation 2, especially with Reggie's collection because he collects imports, and not a lot of people do that, so it's a very unique perspective. All right, guys, thanks for watching.